Today we are gonna learn how to cook with beer. Right now I am in the kitchen with Michael and James of Steam Whistle Brewing Company. What should I know about cooking with beer? Um, it's a lot of fun to sample the beer while you're cooking with beer, which James does quite regularly, myself as well. <laughs> Cheers everybody. And um, it also serves as a great foundation for a lot of sauces and reductions. So um, basically, I put beer in anything that I cook on the stove. Now you guys have a really interesting slogan. What is it? Do one thing really, really well. Our uh, focus is to just make one beer. So Steam Whistle Pilsner is the only beer we make. We don't do a light beer or a lime beer. We just put all our efforts into making this beer as, as premium and as good as we possibly can. So let's get going. Let's get cooking with beer. We've got all the ingredients here. We're going to make a Steam Whistle infused chili today. We figure with fall and football season, it's a, it's a great recipe, easy to make and, and feed lots of hungry people. Basically what we want to do first, we've got some uh, ground beef that we're going to brown up and some stewing beef. Uh, a couple different meats as well. Mike's gonna, we're trying something different. Uh, Mike wants to do some salami. Uh, maybe while Mike's doing that, I can start with, uh, we're gonna brown up both of the meats. We're just gonna kind of sear it, trap all the juices in, and then uh, flavor it with some steam whistle. And then, as I said, it's gonna cook once we add all the ingredients. Great. So I'm just gonna chop them up fairly coarse. I mean, uh, I don't pretend that I know what I'm doing, but I actually don't. We're just the beer guys. But um, chili is something that I think most guys have uh, made around the house. It's uh, it's not complicated. It's pretty easy to uh, make a meal that's fairly impressive. And uh, really, it started up in um, back in Ontario, in Toronto. Uh, I guess May 2-4 weekend of 2000 was the official date. And uh, we've been basically growing in size since then and putting together a, a team of steam whistle lovers. Um, at the time, it was sort of felt that uh, Canada had some pretty good beers to offer, mm -hmm. but there really wasn't, uh, uh, we, no one had really stepped up and taken on the premium Pilsner market. So we thought, let's do that. People like their Stella Bex, Heineken and Grolsch. Let's be a Canadian company that can make a, a Pilsner that's just as good, if not better. We were recently recognized as the greenest brewery in, in Canada, and I believe the second in North America. So we take it pretty seriously, but uh, as our retro truck, our uh, vintage truck retro electro kind of illustrates. We take it seriously and, and uh, believe that we can make beer in a you know sustainable manner, but we also like to have fun with it too. So the batteries are all charged by Bullfrog, uh, Bullfrog power, which is uh, power generated through wind turbines. So 100% zero emissions hot rods, which is pretty sweet. So we're just chopping up the green peppers and the red peppers. Uh, we're going to throw those in the pot. We've already done a lot of this ahead of time because for a big pot of chili like the one that's over there, um, there's a lot of chopping. So that's what it looks like when we add the other onion and pepper. Pretty straightforward, right? Let that start cooking. So we're, we're expecting some people later, so we made a double batch, but to, to give everyone who's watching uh, an idea of what you need, uh, we used, for a single batch, you need uh, two red peppers, two green peppers, uh, one large onion. We used one pound of lean ground beef and uh, one pound of stewing beef that we just chopped, uh, kind of cubed up into bite-sized pieces. And uh, now we're ready to, I guess, add it all in. This was browned up before, again, using the, the beer and uh, seasoning with salt. So we're gonna mix this all in the bowl here. And probably the most common application for beer, I mean, it's, I like to use it as a base for a marinade. It's really good for a, a foundation. It helps to sort of tenderize the, the meat. Beer's a little bit acidic, right? Mm -hmm. So it helps to break apart some of the meat fibers and serve as a base for all of the spices or things that you're adding to your meat. It can be used as a reduction. You can sort of use it to uh, mix all your ingredients together, all your seasonings, and then sort of reduce the, the, the water that's in the beer. Um, so we're using it. Well, partially because we like to drink beer while we cook. Yes. <laughs> and also because uh, it's just instead of adding water, why add water when you can add beer, right, James? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So Mike's gone a little heavy on some of the spices. So what we've got here is uh, about two and a half tablespoons of chili spice. Mm. And we're going to mix this all in so we can just kind of throw it in there. Uh, and then so we have a, an overabundance of paprika for Mike. An overabundance. That's like a double whammy. It's not just abundant, it's <laughs> overly abundant. And then we've got some uh, garlic salt here, uh, one tablespoon, sorry, one teaspoon of garlic salt. Mm -hmm. We got some uh, Worcestershire here as well. It just kind of adds a little bit of salty, uh, salt flavor to the, to the mixture. Okay. Um, Tabasco as well, this is just for personal taste. So we've gone pretty generously on the Tabasco. Excellent. And then I like to add this, uh, as Mike mentioned, beer is great for reducing acidity in some yes. of the food. So I've got cinnamon here as well. A lot of people will add sugar to their to their uh, mm -hmm. chili because it helps reduce acidity. Uh, I think we have a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon here. And then lastly, um, garlic. These are small cloves, so we're gonna use quite a few here and just kind of mash them up. 
Okay. James, when are we going to add some more steam whistle to the chili? Uh, well, as a, normally we add one bottle, but we're doing a double mix, so we're going to add two full bottles in right now. Uh, we can add it right now. Uh, it doesn't really matter what order you do this in, as long as they all end up in the pot together. Do you want to add some beer then? Yeah, let's get a couple bottles. I got one going here. I got another one. So over maybe here. if you want to, if you wouldn't mind adding that in, just the whole thing. Don't be shy. Mm -mm. It, the beer does not need to be cold when you're adding it to uh, your chili. That's the good part, eh? Let's add another two in here. quite finished yet. There's just a couple more uh, finishing touches, some garnish on here. So we got some sour cream. Mm. Let's just go with a, a healthy amount. And some cheddar cheese, extra old cheddar cheese. Nice. And just some diced green onions for, for color. That's looking good, guys. And now we're done. And now we can try it? Yep, we're all set. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Wow. <laughs> mm. I have to say, cooking with beer is worth a steam whistle. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers. everybody.